Alibaba Cloud has released Quen3 family of models recently. So their tagline of Quen3 is think deeper, act faster. So Quen3 families have hybrid reasoning. Means you can switch on reasoning, you can switch off reasoning for when you are inf uh, inferencing for a query. The folks at Unsloth have released a fine tuning notebook for Quen3 family of models. In this video, let's look at how we can fine tune Quen3 series of models using the provided Unsloth notebook. Now Unsloth makes fine tuning large language models uh, faster, 2x faster, that's what they say. It uses 70% less memory and with no degradation in accuracy. Let's directly go into the notebook. So this is their notebook. This can run on a free Tesla T4 Google Collab instance. That is what I'm doing over here. So first, uh, you just need to follow by you know running all these cells. So what they are doing over here is that first they are installing a bunch of libraries. So this is a collab notebook. So they do, you know, they install a uh, bunch of libraries over here, right? Unslot zoo, uh, write on and so on. Like uh, transformers, Xformers, accelerate bits and bytes. So this is the installation part. Now this is the part where actually they instantiate the Quen model over here, right? So they do this fast language model from pre-trained and the model is Quen3 14 billion. You can use any of the other models as well. You can use uh, 4 bit, you can use uh, 4 billion, you can use 8 billion, you can use 32 billion, 1.7 billion. You can use any of these models, okay? So these are 4 bit quantized models. So that is why you have this load in 4 bit is equal to true, load in 8 bit is equal to false. And we are not going to do a full fine tuning. So even this flag is false over here. So this is how the model and tokenizer are kind of loaded, okay? So the model is downloaded over here and it is loaded. Then you add LoRa adapter. Uh, so we only need to update one to 10% of all parameters. So this is LoRa adapter based fine tuning of Quen3, which is done over here. So this is where, you know, you are setting up the parameters for parameter efficient fine tuning using LoRa. Um, so this is where it is done, okay? Uh, so you are, um, you know, this is where it is patching those particular layers for LoRa based fine tuning. Okay. Then data preparation is done. So for data preparation, they use two data sets over here. One is the reasoning data set because Quen3 has both reasoning and non-reasoning mode. So we, we make use of two data sets over here. So one is a reasoning data set, which is open math reasoning data set, which was used to win AIMO, AI Mathematical Olympia Progress Prize too. So we sampled 10% of verifiable reasoning traces that used deep sea carbon and which got greater than 95% accuracy. That is the first reasoning data set. Then you have the non-reasoning data set, which is Maxim Laban's fine tome 100K data set in share GPT style. Okay. So this is where you load the data set. Okay. This is how the structure of both data set looks like. In the reasoning data set, you have expected answer, problem type, problem source, generation model, pass rate 72 BTIR, problem generated solution, inference mode. So there's close to 19K samples over here in this reasoning data set. In the non-reasoning data set, you have conversation, source, score. Okay. And we have close to 100K samples over here. So you need to convert this reasoning set from this format into a conversational format. That is where you have this, you know, uh, what do you call method over here to generate conversation. And this particular method uh, is applied on your reasoning, uh, you know, uh, data set samples to convert it into uh, your uh, conversation style. Okay. Because it has in this particular format. So that is what is the conversion which is done over here. You just need the problem and solution from this. Okay. You have the problem and you have generated solution basically. So that is what is required over here. So that's what they are doing the mapping over here. Okay. And creating the conversation, uh, reasoning conversations. So reasoning conversation looks like this. So, you know, I am start user given a particular problem. You need to come up with a solution. Uh, and this is the assistant. If you see over here, you have the think tokens and then finally you will have a solution token uh, over here. So if you look at that, you will have the think and finally you have an answer. Okay. So you will have close of think, right? So that is your reasoning data set sample. Now uh, let's look at uh, non-reasoning is very straightforward. Okay. Uh, you will just have a sample of in the non-reasoning conversation is very simple. You have a question and you have an answer. Okay. So your assistant will have an answer. Uh, the thing is what I'm seeing over here is in the non-reasoning conversation also you have thinking tokens. Okay. I'm not sure why that is present over here, but you also have think over here. 
So if I were to run it again, yes, it is present over here in non-reasoning conversations as well. Okay. Uh, so this is standardization of the non-reasoning data set. Right. Now, this is the length of reasoning conversations, which is 19K. Non-reasoning conversation has 100, uh, 100K, 19K and 100K. So there is this difference in this sample size, right? So the non-reasoning data set is much longer. Let's assume that we want the model to retain some reasoning capabilities, but we want specifically a chat model. So let's define a ratio of chat only data. The goal is to define some mixture of both sets of data. So you use 25% of reasoning and 75% chat. So the chat percentage is 75% over here. So what they're saying is let's sample the reasoning data set by 25% or whatever is 100% minus chat percentage. And what they're doing over here is that from the non-reasoning subset sample, they are uh, you know doing this uh, calculation of samples where length of reasoning conversations star one minus chat percentage. Okay. I think this is a mistake over here because now if you see length of non-reasoning subset is only 4813, okay? Whereas uh, your reasoning is 19K and this is just 4K. So then your final sample will be uh, more of reasoning and less of non-reasoning, which contradicts this statement, right? 25% reasoning and 75% chat based, okay? So I think the correct way to do it would be this. This is a mistake. I think should have been over here is that the non-reasoning subset sample should be length of reasoning conversation to four, which is, you know, your 100% of samples. And from that, you take 75%. Okay. So now you have 25% reasoning and you have 75% non-reasoning to get your 100% data set. So that is what I have done over here because in their code, they are concatenating the reasoning and non-reasoning subset. Previously, what would have happened is that 19K would have been reasoning, only 4K would have been non-reasoning if we had followed their original code. Now what will happen is that 19K will be reasoning, 57K will be non-reasoning, which will maintain this 25% reasoning and 75% chat based data because we want a chat model. Okay, so that's a small correction which I have done over here. Just to verify this non-reasoning conversation, whether it is being read properly, let's just check this particular code over here and see where they are reading the non-reasoning data set. The non-reasoning data set is read over here. Okay. Uh, so you're getting the non-reasoning data set, right? Here you are getting reasoning conversation. So that is still fine. So this is reasoning conversations of zero, how it looks like. Uh, then this is non-reasoning conversation where they are, you know, standardizing the using shared GPT and they're applying the chat template. And this is non-reasoning conversation, which also has think tokens over here. Okay. Just to verify that I just looked at it. Now let's go to this part where they're, you know, combining uh, the two reasoning conversation and reasoning subset and we get our final data set for our training. Okay. Which has 25% reasoning and 75% non-reasoning or chat data. That's the idea over here. So what is done over here is that uh, we kind of, you know, uh, from TRL, uh, basically we create this SFFT trainer, SFTT trainer, supervised fine tuning trainer. Okay. So we use hugging face TRL SFTT trainer. And they say 60 steps over here, but actually the max steps is specified 30. And other details are present over here, like data set, uh, text, data set text field is text, per device batch is equal to two, gradient accumulation steps is equal to four, warm up steps is equal to five. These are configurations. Okay, I will not read everything over here. Optimizer is Adam 8-bit. Uh, LR scheduler type is linear. Okay. And uh, then we are there, um, you know, this is where the text tokenization happens over here. And the trainer, class is object of trainer class is created. Okay. So this takes close to 11.898 of GPU memory, right? And then you do trainer dot train and it starts training. Okay. So we are training on close to 77 K samples over here. And this is how training, uh, you know, after 30 steps, this is a, uh, you know, loss. Okay. And if you look at the memory consumption of this particular, the peak memory con consumption was close to 14.38 GB. And uh, peak reserved memory was 95 and this thing. And this took close to 16, 30 seconds or 27.17 minutes was used for training. Now we can inference. So what Quen3 team says is that these are the parameters for reasoning inference, temperature 0.6, top P is equal to 0.95, top K is equal to 20. So this is, uh, you know, a simple equation solve. So first is non-reasoning. And this is the output which we get. Okay, X is equal to minus two, because if you substitute minus two, you will get this equation is solved taking cube root of both sides. Now you can uh, try it in thinking mode also. So this is non-thinking. Now we can try it with thinking mode also. And when you try it with thinking mode, it does this think generation and finally gives the answer over here. Let's try another query where I want to know what is the derivative of the following function f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 2. 
Let's make it small x. Okay, 2x cubed minus 2. Let's see what is the output. So this is for like where thinking um, is not enabled. So it applies the rule of differentiation. Very good. Uh, we get, yeah, correct. 6x square constant. So the derivative is this thing. Fine. So it is actually given the proper answer over here. Okay. So let's try out now by enabling thinking is equal to true. So here you can see think tokens. For some reason it's empty over here. And then it tries to generate the answer over here. The same answer which is correct. Okay. One thing which I you know saw over here was that in the non-reasoning conversation, there are conversations which don't have think and think, you know, tag over here like this, right? You don't have think over here, you just have assistant and then you have the conversation. But there are also conversations over here where you have, you know, uh, think traces or chain of thought traces. So here you have think. So I think this data set right the maxim Lobon's data set has a mix of thinking and non-thinking data so when they are strictly saying non-reasoning data set i think uh, we need to look into this data set and also filter this data set properly to remove some of these you know the conversations where they have these think tokens okay where you have this think and this thing, because here you have chain of thought okay in the what you call uh, non-reasoning conversation as well okay the reasoning conversation is in, is in the right format, but I think in the non-reasoning conversations, when we are sampling and we are pulling out data, if you want to strictly maintain this 75% as chat based, then probably we should remove this think tokens in the data set. This is another observation which I have made. Probably I'll also raise another uh, issue on this Quen3 fine tuning notebook where I will mention this particular part. So now that the model is trained, you can go ahead and you know, uh, you can actually save the model you can load the fine-tuned model. So you can check this code over here on how to do it. So this was a video on how you can fine-tune Quen3 uh, reasoning con on reasoning conversations, okay, as well as a non-reasoning conversation. So you can try uh, fine-tuning these different models. And if you want to do it on your data set, just try to follow the same format as they have done over here in this particular notebook. Hope this video is useful. See you in the